Now, it's a great pleasure. I welcome Secretary of State Hilary Benn. And can I say to you that from the very first time that I met you, you've been absolutely clear about the challenges that lie ahead and confident about the opportunities that come with them. How climate change will influence what we produce and where we produce it as we become a low-carbon economy. How we deal with the increased risk from adverse weather and invasive pests and diseases. The pressure on our natural resources as population rises. The impact of high oil prices on your costs. The shifting patterns of demand, both globally as countries like China and India become wealthier and here at home. Now, I know that there are a number of things that you're concerned about, and I'm concerned about them too. And I want to deal with each of them in turn. First, the outbreak of foot and mouth disease last year, which should never have happened. I am only too aware of the terrible consequences this has had for the livestock industry, and especially sheep farmers. I believe in telling it straight, and that's exactly what I got when I sat around the kitchen table at Thomas Binz's farm last October. Thomas, your friends and neighbors made it very clear to me how the outbreak was affecting their businesses and how it would affect their livelihoods for months to come. Last week, a group of you came to see me to convey the depth of the anguish and despair it is causing. I understand that. I've heard from farmers whose herds are affected by TB about the stress and the difficulties and the financial hardship they face. And I accept that levels are too high. And some regulation, including from Europe, has had unintended consequences. But regulation is for a reason, to protect soils, to preserve biodiversity, to improve water quality, all things that we would agree on. And I think the best way to deal with it is to listen to and work with each other. And that is exactly what we're doing in dealing with the threat of blue tongue. Having all seen the terrible damage blue tongue has done, we know that vaccination offers the best hope. So that's why we are the first country dealing with the current outbreak in Northern Europe that has placed an order for 22 and a half million doses of a vaccine. And the deal is this, the government pays for the order up front and the full cost is then recovered as the vaccine is used by farmers. Will everything look the same in another 100 years? No, of course it won't. Farming, like humankind, has to adapt to prosper. But its story, your story, shows exactly what farmers can achieve and how we all benefit. And as you rightly celebrate your centenary, I think you know that your proud history means that you can face that future with confidence. Thank you very much.